Let's open host city. New York is also the place where the career of current Houston Rockets guard Jeremy Lin first took off. Lin got his major break while a member of the Knicks were seemingly overnight he became a household name as Lin Sanity gripped the basketball world. However, he then left NYC at the end of the 2011-2012 season for big bucks in Houston. And now the challenge is to prove that the Rockets were right to make that move. And for Lin, the challenge is to prove his doubters wrong. He recently stopped by the Chinese mainland where he sat down with R. Wong Dong to talk about his career and his life off the court. New age has begun. Talking about Houston Rockets, last season in the first round of playoffs, you guys really fell short. Now, what kind of uh, adjustment the team itself needs to really uh, make, and what about yourself? From a team standpoint, I think we've made those changes. We've brought in more veteran guys. Um, we brought in Dwight Howard, obviously, is a huge addition, um, and we've given ourselves a better uh, opportunity talent-wise. And then from my standpoint, I think what I needed was experience. Um, I needed experience and. Um, in some ways, I also needed uh, good health, um, you know, dealing with the chest injury and um, being my first time in the playoffs. I uh, just really didn't play the way I wanted to. Um, didn't have a great performance by any means. And so, With a new team, a new acquisition like Dwight Howard, and he talked to the public saying that his goal is definitely to help keep the Houston Rockets win a championship title. And how realistic is it? Uh, we'll see. I mean, I think from a talent standpoint, you know, we're up there in terms of talent in the NBA. I think the next component is buying into the system, learning to work together, building team chemistry, trusting each other, and uh, getting that experience that you need to be able to um, be the team that you need to be when, when it's uh, crunch time. How settled are you right now, given that you're in the new team, different team, and so forth? Yeah, definitely a new stage in my life, uh, moving on to the Houston Rockets and um, what we have building there. and so. Uh, for me, uh, it's just a continual process of trying to get better every day, trying to become a better player, trying to help the team. And so uh, definitely, uh, you know, last year was kind of a transition phase from the insanity time period to Houston. And this year, it's uh, this will be the first time um, in my entire career that I'm going back to the same team that I start, that, that was on the year before. Splits the defenders, gets inside, lefty layup, puts it in. Sensational move from Jeremy Lin. This unheralded, undrafted underdog comes out of nowhere. Lin for three. Bang! The Jeremy Lin show continues here in Madison Square Garden. From insanity, I guess I just remember uh, how fun it was to play basketball on the court. We won those first seven games in a row, and there was just a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of, moments that I'll remember for the rest of my life. What about your burning desire to win? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's that's still there. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a little different before. It was kind of just, I'm trying to find a way to make it in the league and to be able to play in the NBA. And right now I'm trying to um, take it to the next level and solidify myself as, as the type of player that I want to become. The name uh, Mike D'Antoni probably means a lot to you. And now you're with a new coach and the new coaching of Kevin McHale and if I have to ask you to compare these two coaches, what would you say? Different styles. Um, they come from, you know, different backgrounds. I think Kevin uh, McHale, Coach McHale, um, was a, you know, Hall of Fame basketball player, post player. Um, different philosophy, uh, hard-nosed, defensive. Coach D'Antoni, uh, you know, definitely cares about defense as well. Um, it's just the offensive system is different um, in terms of uh, his style. It's more spread, pick and roll, four out, one in. And so different styles, but I think uh, as we grow as a team, I think the, us as the Rockets, we're starting to evolve into a more of a pick and roll spread offense type of team. When I talked to Mike uh, D'Antoni about you, he you know, tended to say in the past that he's an excellent student, he's very humble, he's good at everything. But do you think this kind of being humble is good on court because you want to be really, uh, you want to show your careless instinct instead of uh, being humble, right? I, mean, I don't think I'm a humble person. I think, uh, you know, through my faith, I've learned um, in many ways that um, I'm a very proud person and, and uh, I do want to strive for humility. Um, but I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I think when you get on the court and you compete, 
you can you can compete and have a killer instinct, but to do it um, to do it with a humble demeanor. Shot clock at eight, splits the defense again, gets to the rim, pucks it in, and a foul! Wow! Um, you can still be the same uh, tenacious, uh, you know, kind of cold-blooded basketball player, but at the same time understanding you still have to treat other people with respect, you still have to treat the t your teammates, refs, fans, all with respect. What I have to ask you about Linsanity again, do you think it happened for a reason or it happened with a lot of luck involved? Both, um, I think. Um, you know, I wouldn't say luck as I would say um, blessings maybe, blessings from God. Um, I would say a lot of things had to happen that were outside of my control. Um, for everything to become what it became. Win it would mark their longest win streak of the season. Minnesota 13 and 14, and there is Jeremy Lin of tonight's game. Let's take a look at the Lexus keys to the game. I know you have your own strong belief, and everybody does too, and usually belief really motivates you in many ways. And how does it work out for you on and off the court? My uh, parents taught me, um, and the Bible teaches me, you know, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as unto the Lord and not for men. Uh, not for men. And so uh, for me, uh, whether it's basketball or when I was a student or, um, you know, when I'm done with basketball, whatever it might be, that's going to be my motto is uh, give it your best effort, um, whatever it is, work as a means to glorify God and then trust him with whatever happens. And I think, um, you know, that's, that's what I try to focus on. Leave everything in his capable hands. Absolutely. You are definitely in the limelight, and not because of you know, not only because of your achievement already you made, but also because of your ethnic background and so forth. Are you giving yourself a lot of uh, pressure, or are you under a lot of pressure at this stage? You know, I just really try to pray, uh, play for for uh, you know God, and try to play unto the Lord, and, and uh, you know, really focus on using my basketball as a w means to worship Him and, and to let everything else. Um, happen the way it's supposed to happen. I, you know, I don't want to worry too much about um, all the outside uh, noise or the outside distractions. I think um, when that happens, I, I lose focus. Sometimes, as you mentioned in the past, you probably will face um, racial slurs and so forth. An ESPN headline about Knicks phenom Jeremy Lin that featured an offensive racial slur in a play on words. ESPN has announced that the employee responsible for that slur has been fired and an anchor who made a similar comment has been suspended for 30 days. And you tend to be, you know, using your own way to deal with or cope with the situation. Tolerance maybe is one way. What's the meaning of tolerance in your eyes? And tolerance part of your nature? Yeah, I think, uh, I think to some degree, tolerance has to be a part of everybody's nature. And I think for me, um, in order for me to be effective, in, in order for me to take um, racism and turn that negative energy into something that can be beneficial for me as a person and as a player, um, you know, I have to build up my threshold of tolerance. In the corner, Chandler Parsons, Jeremy Lin. Man, that didn't touch anything. Jeremy wishes he could have that one back. I heard many critics saying that uh, Jeremy is great, everything. On the other hand, perhaps uh, he's not really the person ready to take the lead or leading the parade. And what do you make of this kind of a statement? Is it fair? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, for me, you know, I'm a young player who uh, has a lot of growing to do. And um, in many ways, you know, um, I'm not ready. You know, I just turned 25 a few days ago. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thanks. Uh, I've started, you know, a little over a hundred games it's really not that much you know and, and I think people forget how young um, in my career I am and people have very lofty expectations because of the insanity area but people don't remember I've really only played one full season um, as a starter and uh, that's just that's that's not that much so I, I definitely agree that I have a lot of improvement to, to do